Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from radical mathematics. Here we have to evaluate cube root of 770 over a square root 77 minus 29. Let us consider this expression equal to x first. Now radicant is positive, so obviously x must be greater than 0. I will be solving this question in two ways. So let me write here method 1. And this method is based on Simon's favorite factoring trick. I will consider cubing both sides. So power 3, power 3 both sides. Cube root and cube will be over. So x cube will become 770 divided by square root 77 minus 29. Now I will rationalize my denominator. So I need to multiply by square root 77 in numerator and in denominator. Now denominator will give us 77. So I can write x cube equal to 770 square root 77 over 77 minus 29. Now we can cancel these two numbers by writing over there 10. So x cube will be 10 square root 77 minus 29. Now I will multiply this equation both sides by 8. So I can write 8x cube equal to 80 square root 77 minus 232. Now let me write equation here. 8x cube equal to 80 square root 77 minus 232. Now we will split this 80 as 77 plus 3. So 77 root 77 plus 3 root 77 minus 231 minus 1 will be split of 232. Now left hand side we can write it as 2x whole cube. Right hand side we can rearrange numbers. So 77 root 77 minus 1 minus 231 plus 3 root 77. So 77 root 77 we can write root 77 whole cube minus 1 we can write 1 cube minus 231 we can write 3 times root 77 square times 1 plus 3 times root 77 times 1 square now this is recalling one algebraic formula it is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square written in RHS which we will write a minus b whole cube in our RHS. So we can write 2x whole cube equal to square root 77 minus 1 whole cube. Let's consider cube root both sides. So 2x will become root 77 minus 1. Now after dividing this equation by 2, we will get our answer root 77 minus 1 over 2. Using Simon's favorite factoring trick, now our method number 2. Method number 2. Let me write x cube once. x cube equal to 10 square root 77 minus 29. Now I will assume y cube also which will be conjugate of x cube. 10 root 77 plus 29. 
Now I will take away second equation from first one. So I can write x cube minus y cube will be equal to minus 29 minus 29 minus 58 and this equation I will call equation 1. Now I will multiply these two. So I will be writing x cube times y cube. It will be equal to 10 square root 77 minus 29 times 10 square root 77 plus 29. Now this is a plus b times a minus b. So a square minus b square. I can write 10 root 77 whole square minus 29 whole square. So this will become 100 times 77, 7700 minus 841. This difference will come out 6859, which will be cube of 19. Left hand side we have xy whole cube. Right hand side we have 19 whole cube. Once I will consider cube root then our real xy will be 19 and this I will call equation 2. Let me write both the equations here. x cube minus y cube equal to negative 58 xy equal to 19. Now I will write one algebraic identity. It is x minus y whole cube. Formula is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy in bracket x minus y. Now let us assume x minus y equal to t. Equal to t. So x cube minus y cube our equation 1 and x times y our equation 2. Let us apply. So I can write t cube equal to minus 58 minus 3 times x y is 19 x minus y is our substitution t. So I can write t cube equal to minus 58 minus 57 t or I can write t cube plus 50 70 plus 58 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation and if I will simply plug in over there t equal to negative 1 then it will satisfy the equation. So t plus 1 is one factor of cubic equation. Let me write our equation here and then we can apply remainder theorem. So I will be writing here t cube plus 50 70 plus 58 equal to 0 t equal to minus 1 is solution. So t plus 1 is one factor. So I will be writing here t cube as t square times t plus 1. So I will write here minus t square to compensate plus t square plus 50 70 plus 58 equal to 0. Further I will do the same job t square t plus 1 here I will write minus t and then our factor t plus 1. So I need to write here plus t. So it will become 58 t. 58 is common in bracket t plus 1. So we can take t plus 1 common out. t square minus t plus 58 equal to 0. So from here t equal to negative 1. And from this quadratic equation, 
I will write t square minus t plus 58 equal to 0. So once we will calculate discriminant, then this discriminant value will be negative. Minus 1 square is 1, minus 4 times 1 times 58. So it will become 1 minus 232. So value will be 231 with negative sign. Discriminant is negative. Complex solutions will be there. So we will reject this. So t equal to negative 1 will be accepted value. And t was our consideration x minus y equal to t equal to negative 1. So I can write x minus y equal to negative 1 with x y 19 equation number 2. So from second equation I can write y equal to 19 over x which we will apply here in the first one. So I will write x minus 19 over x equal to negative 1. Multiply this equation with x both sides. So x square minus 19 equal to minus x. x square plus x minus 19 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. I will use quadratic formula. So I will be writing here x equal to minus b so minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so 1 square 1 minus 4ac so plus 76 divided by 2a so 2 times 1 2 so x will become minus 1 plus minus square root 77 divided by 2 but we have to accept only x positive as per our conditions. So I will reject the minus sign in between. So our final answer becomes x equal to negative 1 plus root 77 divided by 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to like share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Goodbye.